Now, happening now, we have a live look at the riverfront stage from our Sky Cam tonight. Hundreds of folks down in that general area for CMA Fest, and our John Cole Newland is there now with more on the fan fun. Hey, John Cole. Yeah, hey, Roy. Despite the rising heat, and I can tell you it's getting a lot or really hot in the last hour. Shout out to love. It's been a great. And, you know, in general, music people love the CMA Fest this year. We've met a lot of people from around the world, including those who this is their first time ever in Nashville. And what an impression the CMA Music Festival is having on them. Of course, for those trying to beat the heat, they went over to the Music City Center where the Fan for X was in full swing. More activity, bars with live music. I've never been seen so many bars with live music ever. Day two of the CMA Music Festival brought more people. I love it, just to be in the atmosphere, it's just great. More food and more music. We're here to watch some country music and uh, have some fun. To Music City. In between acts, like people are leaving, people are coming, so it's kind of, you can't leave. Kind of come in the, the front pretty quickly. It's pretty bad. It's not too bad. I like this pole. I'm pretty comfortable here. But as the artist performances rose to the top of their fans' to-do list, the heat also rose. Honestly, it's the ambiance. The ambiance, the hype of the artist, the crowd, the heat. A little hot. This is how you treat your uh, guests. We love being out and about. It's wonderful. I don't know. I get to sign a lot of boots, get to sign guitars. I've had some tattoos put on people. It's kind of, I always try to write real nice if they say they're getting a tattoo. Those looking to beat the heat made their way inside the Music City Center. This is awesome. For Fanfare X. It's kind of wild. You turn the radio on and sometimes I'm on there. Oh, there's about like 150 of them. Or, or at least ones that they tell us what they play. That's also where a special group of children with the Boys and Girls Club met country music artist Eric Pasley. Country music just growing like crazy. Nashville's growing like crazy. I think over 80 or 100 people are moving to Nashville every day. So it's, uh, I mean, a CMA Fest has to grow. Pasley works with Notes for Notes, an organization that provides young musicians with the tools they need to reach their musical goals. You don't have to be famous to make music. You know, I think everybody thinks, I always meet people all the time that say, yeah, I always wanted to learn to play guitar. I'm like, you can. Now, I also want to mention that with the rising heat today, it's going to be even hotter this weekend. So if you are planning to come out to the CMA Music Festival, be sure to drink a lot of water. Water, that is. Maybe some other libations in between, but drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, and be sure to bring your sunscreen. I've been out here all day today. I can tell you there's a lot of red faces and a lot of red feet and a lot of red legs because everyone's got their legs out. So just bring your sunscreen. We'll have more reports on this tonight on News Channel 5 at 10 o'clock. For now, live at the CMA Music Festival, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5.